All right, so got a no cooling call. Let me grab my my drink. Probably not the best thing to drink, but let me go cooler. My boots, in case I need to kick somebody. All right, so pretty much on this one, I already went up to the roof, already diagnosed it. Um, there was this weird old guy who used to be an HVAC tech, and he was telling me how he was going to help me diagnose it and this and that, so, which is cool, but you know how that goes. Um, so let me get up this ladder real quick. Let's see if we can do it with one hand. Yep, that's how we do that. All right, so I said he had three systems down. I found uh, two of them that were down. The other one's working great, but two out of three, no bueno. This is the one that I did the fan motor on uh, in that recent video about a month, month and a half ago. So this was the first one I checked. See that coils, a block of ice. So. Two reasons, two reasons why the coil is going to ice up. Airflow, charge. That's pretty much it, unless the TXV too, but I mean majority, very rare is going to be the TXV. It, at least that's what I've noticed. In my cases, it's usually airflow or charge. Um, so on this one, when I went to go jump out the fan, nothing happened. Uh, so I went to my schematic, saw that this relay controls the indoor blower motor. You have your contacts right here for your low voltage. This is your low voltage, 24 volts. And then these are going to be your terminals where you can put your high voltage or your motor or whatever you want to control. You can do low voltage through here, but on this particular one, we had our, our blower contact power, contact 24 volt common, and then power for motor, and then going to motor. All right. So... What I noticed is that I had 24 volts here, but I had 208 right here. So that's telling me that if you have 24 here, the contact should close. If you have zero volts right here between this, that means that these contacts should not be closed. They should not be on these two outside pins. So if you have 24 volts between your coil right here and here, take your meter, do, do, 24 volts, these contacts right here, these two, and these two will close, okay? And you're going to read zero across here if they're close. You're not going to read 208 or 120 or 24. Um, but this thing's fried. You can see. It's all fucked up. So what I did. I don't like to put a contactor in. I don't like those relays. I can't, I can't stand relays. These things are so annoying. Um, they're constantly failing. Sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't. So, flip my switch, jumped out red to green, and uh, that unit comes on and works great. So, and then this unit wanted me to check, was okay, uh, everything's working fine. That unit is completely flat on gas. Uh, I'm gonna do a leak search and repair on that on Thursday. So I'll get the video, maybe we'll find a well that we need to repair or something, but fucking gorgeous day up here, let me tell you. I'm kind of happy with these Testos. Uh, I'm really, really not happy with the Micron gauge. It really pisses me off. Uh, they won't answer any of my fucking phone calls. They won't return my fucking emails. And it's super, super annoying. So, they're, they're a good gauge. Um, but their customer service is shit. So, so for this unit, uh, what you want to do is you want to tell your customer... All right, you can keep your cooling off. So we're going to go downstairs, suck the thermostat off of cooling, leave it to off, turn the fan to on, let this fan go for all night, rest of the day, all night, and then tomorrow morning when they come into work, they can flip on their cooling and they'll have it back. So uh, I checked static pressure in the system. We, we got pressure, so we're all good. So that's pretty much it for that one. Nice and quick, simple. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to get off of this roof. It is so fucking hot out. Whew. But... That's it. So that's how you check that. 
one more time 24 volts here you read nothing here if you read voltage here then that means that the contacts are shot and you can ohm it out too you can take your meter you can go across these two when it's applied but that's garbage so like subscribe and rock on you guys have an awesome day so i'm gonna go home and make myself some dinner take my dog for a walk rock on later